Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, again, my name is LaVar McMillan. Um, I am from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the United States. Um, I have my two children here. Can I introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, my name is Jordan Smith. Um, I'm 13 and I'm in the eighth grade. Jada. So. <laughs> My name is Judith Smith. I am seven and I'm in the second grade. And um, we have the opportunity of sharing. Um, I'm, I am the founder and CEO of Advocate for Me. Um, and we work with families who have children with special needs and special health care needs. I work as a special instructor in Philadelphia and I work with families. And then I also run my own business, which is Advocate for Me. Um, so we um, both, um, or all, both of my children, I sat down with them and I asked them um, because they seen me um, becoming an entrepreneur and doing my business. And they also wanted to do a business. And I asked them what did they want to do. So my son who was born, um, he uh, was born at 28 weeks and you'll see later in the slide presentation. But he um, said that he wanted to write a book about his journey of having a feeding tube. Um, so we're working on his children's project now. And then my daughter, she's like a little CEO herself. Um, and she wanted to have her own business as well. And she loved jewelry and travel and um, and doing, um, you know, other girly things. So she said, so I did a research for a few um, businesses and um, you'll see in the slide which one she chose between the jewelry travel and makeup. So um, I, is, Shirley, is it okay to share my screen? You should be good to go. Okay. Is, absolutely, go for it. All right, can you see the screen? We can. All right, awesome. Let me put it in PowerPoint for you. So today's topic is called Thriving on Doing Adversity. Um, because one of the things that I like to do is I like to educate families that even though they may have a child with special needs or special health care needs, that they can still continue to thrive on. So our topic today is Thrive on Doing Adversity. And this is our company's logo, Advocate for Me. Um, and each color represents a different special needs or special health care need. So it could represent autism, it could represent asthma, it could represent um, Down syndrome. So all, each different um, replica of a person in the logo represents a different um, diagnosis. So again, I started um, Advocate for Me to offer resources, advocacy, and training to families and friends um, who have children, um, who are caring for children with special needs and special health care needs. And again, like I said, Jordan wanted to start his own business and share his story. So we um, wanted to encourage children and empower and bring awareness to feeding issues and reasons for families who may have feeding tubes. And then Jada, she um, loved, again, fun. She wanted to so she chose travel was one of the businesses that she chose so for travel she wanted the families to have fun she wanted them to travel she wanted them to have family time and to also still be able to explore the world so that's why she chose the travel business and then here are just a brief story of our journey. Um, here's Jordan when he was born at 28 weeks premature. He was only two days old in this picture. He weighed two pounds and two ounces. And as you guys can see today, he's doing so much better. Um, we did have some you know, health challenges. Here you see him and Jada um, when she was a baby. He had the NG tube. And this is why he said that he wanted to share his journey with other families um, of having an NG tube. Um, because like when he was this age, a lot of kids would run up to him and point at it and ask him what it is. But he was the type of child where he just ignored you and just pretty much was like, I, you know, I'm a kid. That's who you see first instead of, you know, seeing this NG tube, you see me first. Um, and here you see Jada. 
like I said before, she's always, since day one, whatever I did, whether it was business related, whether it was related to me helping children with special needs, she always like was a sponge and took it in. So in this picture right here, I was doing a pitch contest for Advocate for Me and we're sitting at the table and I'm asking her questions as to what I should do and what I should say. So I kind of blocked myself out the picture so y'all can see how engaged she was with telling me what to do. She was like, mom, be patient, talk slow, tell everyone about your business and you're gonna win. So that's why I thought I would include this one because she's a little CEO herself. And then in this picture, you see us, um, I wrote a children's book um, called What About Me? Um, and we tell the story of David and his first day at school at a child care center. Um, so the book um, is geared to children that are on a spectrum, on an autism spectrum disorder. Um, and so here, Jada and I were at a book vending event for someone who were, was launching their other book. Um, she also wrote a book about autism. So we were um, as one of the sponsors and we were taking a picture here. So here's the cover of Jordan's book. So um, he was about six or seven in this picture. As you can see, he's missing a tooth. So he was around that age where he was still missing teeth. Um, so the name of his book, we're still um, working on a few edits. So we'll be publishing hopefully October or November. But um, the name of the book is called Jordan's Journey. And again, he's just sharing his story of how he grew up with a feeding tube um, and a, a G-tube. So right now he has the G-tube. He still has um, some special health care needs. Um, so we are following um, specialists and doctors. And then here um, is when I launched the book. It was our book launch and our family and friends came and celebrated with us. And again, um, we're from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the United States. Again, Jordan is sharing his story and his book. Um, and Jaden is actually wearing one of his t-shirts from his t-shirt line. And then, oh, she's trying to model it. <laughs> and, um, and I, again, am the founder and CEO of Advocate for Me, LLC in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I, we can be reached um, various ways. So through email at lmfreedom20 at gmail.com, um, via our website at um, lmadvocateforme.com, Facebook under my name, LaVon McMillan, Instagram under Advocate for Me, L. McMillan, or LinkedIn. And we just launched a um, fundraiser. Um, under I Fund Women to work on a few projects. Our goal for the end of this year is to help 100 moms. We want to educate 100 moms on um, various, well, whatever the diagnosis is, and just making sure that they're taking care of themselves with self care, financial planning, and whatever future goals that they have for their families. So we launched this project with I Fund Women. Um, educating moms to thrive, um, and it's launched from now until November the 7th. And we thank you so much for the opportunity of sharing today and being able to share this project with you. Well, first off, I'm speechless, but I'm going to try really hard because you've hit every note in this beautiful, um, it's really a symphony that you've written, and you've written it as a family. Um, each one of you plays a role and you've capsulated the important stuff also, which is encouraging and allowing and making sure that your children stay children and joy and yourself as well. So is there a leader or are you all at this all together all the way? Because that's what it seems like to me. And I would like each one of you to answer. How about our little CEO first? Where did she go? She's right here. It's the, the virtual. She keeps blending in with the virtual. Because mm -hmm. she she's the one. She was spot on telling you, go slow, be confident. Yes. <laughs> we'll so are you the leader? <laughs> I'm the boss. You're the boss. Well, you need a boss. You need a leader. And you're very much... Um, you're on it, and you're also kind in your comments to your mom as well. You're a good coach, and a boss needs to be a coach, and that's brilliant. And then I'm going to go to you, mom. What are you? Um, so I guess I'm the person that 
thinks of the ideas, but mm-hmm. I normally, like I said, I just, I normally go to them because I don't want to, like, even with Jordan's book, I could have wrote it just like I wrote the other children's book, but I think I wanted him to share more of his story and his journey. So I just, you know, talk to them and ask them, what is it that you would like to do and share, you know, your experience or what is it that you want to share with the world? And, you know, the, like I said, Jada has three passions, is jewelry, makeup, and traveling. So, between the three, that was the, the one of the ones I picked for her. <laughs> I'm all in on all three of those, and I could probably yes. <laughs> some consultations, so I'll be reaching out to Jade. Okay, now, young man, what about you? I do have a question. Did you draw, are you an artist as well, the cover of your book? Did you no. do the graphic? No. No? Because no. it's, another, it's another part of inventing. You've got platforms online, you've got platforms and graphics or whatever, and then, then what role is your favorite part to play in this family venture that you've done together? I'm doing it all together with my family. There's so nothing I... better than that, is there? <laughs> What is the next step that you see? Because you've, you've put in fundraising goals and all of this. What's the next step? What do you think you would like to accomplish? And have you started on that journey? Um, so the next thing um, that we would like to accomplish is Jada just actually launched her travel business. Like of two course she ago. did. Yeah, so that's what we want to we wanna be able to promote and market that. Um, even though we are going through a pandemic, but it does have other features. Like she, um, you could do car rental, you could do, um, it has Ticketmaster linked to it. So all those are, you know, involved with, along with the travel agency. So um, we want to, you know, make sure that we're marketing that um, in the next few months as well. And then she's ready to do a whole commercial for the, uh, <laughs> for the travel business. So she's ready. So I just got to, you know, film it and, you know, start posting it on our social media platforms. And then just, um, we do have a couple events. I have one event coming up on this eight, on the 18th of October. Um, a mother opened up a um, paint shop um, for um, families who have um, children with autism. So I'll be one of the vendors at that event um, in Philadelphia. It's actually in Lansdowne, PA. Um, so that'll be our first event since March um, that we'll be attending. Um, and then, like I said, just making sure that we'll help, we're helping families with financial planning and with um, different varieties of, you know, whatever their, fin- whatever their family's future goals are. Um, and then also with Jada's business, um, both of their businesses actually, the p- part of the proceeds, most of the proceeds go to them. So we, we all talked about how much would you give mommy? So they're like my bosses, like she said. So I, we, we all agree 60, 40. So 40 goes to the household and then 60 goes into their account to save for whatever that they want to do for the future. So with Jada, her travel business, um, she'll get commissions of like 70 to 80% um, of when people travel. And um, so she's really excited. (laughs) She actually, she started dancing around here. But yeah, so yeah, just, you know, 60, 40, uh, 40 goes to our household expenses and then 60% goes into their account. So we're also doing financial planning within our family. That is absolutely critical, priceless and rare that a family does, even at a grown up age, meaning teenagers, college age, but at a young age, because that does hit, it is real. And you're talking real numbers and you're actually following through. So you're walking the walk from what I can see, you know, and then what is your fun quotient though? Going back to that, there are organizations that that's all they do. And one in um, Ohio where I lived 30 years, it was called a kid again. And it was to help families who are going through something traumatic actually have a moment to carve out where their child could be a kid. And so what part of that budget 60, 40 though, is remembering that, you got three business tycoons I'm looking at right here. So when do you actually just get to go and ride a roller coaster and shoot? What percentage of that 60-40? Don't forget that. What do you think it should be? Yeah, I, I think that would be part of the 40. Part of the 40? <laughs> yeah, because that's the, that's the household, like for the family in general. And then Jada would be excited because we could do all the, the traveling and roller coaster rides. Well, on, she's on the her traveling business. Kid, so yep. she <laughs> So she'll right. make a commission off of us too. <laughs> right. I don't know, Erin. What do you think? I'm just amazed. I think I, I, 
I think that this is a family fill of skills and 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 evidence of resilience that I just I I, I can't wait to follow along the rest of your journey and um, and cheer for you and support you and and yeah I feel very very humbled to get to meet you um, oh, and I'm really excited to read that book um, Jacob because I think that your story. Um, I think I, you to have the courage to share that story is going to have great benefits for so many people. So thank you. Um, and can't wait to be able to travel. So I know. To take <laughs> travel and I'm trying to figure out how you could possibly adopt me, but we'll <laughs> I know. <laughs> Amen. Mostly I want to just tell you how inspired thank I am you. by your family, by your young children, by you, young man, by J you're just, um, you really wonder sometimes how the world's going. And in a pandemic, that's a good way, you know, to be like, what's going on? And I'm so honored and privileged to hear your story. And I can't really wait except to tell everyone about it when we get off. But thank you so much for sharing it with us. And um, please stay in touch so that we yes. can help put your story and what you're doing out there because it's inspiring not just to young people but to less young like me so thank you this wonderful wonderful presentation and so privileged to hear all of your stories and thank you for being part of the global innovation field trip mm -hmm.